What's going on YouTube? This is iTalk Fortnite here and in today's video we are doing an updated locker video. Uh, I did one of these actually a month ago from today actually which is kind of crazy that I did that over a month ago already. But yeah, so we're gonna just kind of go through my locker again, but this time it's a lot more updated We got a lot more skins in it, and uh, I think you guys will enjoy the video now I tried recording this before and I kind of skipped over every skin that I talked about in my first video I'm not gonna do that with this video I'm gonna go over quickly what my opinions are on the skin why I got it why I like it all that good stuff in this video so hopefully you guys will sit back relax and enjoy the video so first things first is that we are level 88 we are level 88 max battle pass tier and uh, that's why I haven't really been doing my challenges you know whatever not a big deal uh, so my challenges I already I only have up to uh, seven weeks done once again I'll get these done but like at the same time yeah I'm not too crazy so first we got the banners now <laughs> the last time I did this I showed the, I saw the palm trees. I'm like, oh, I didn't know I had the palm trees. I'm going to put on the palm trees. I never changed it. I love the palm trees. It's just really good. So I'm like, yeah, you know what? I'm just going to keep it. Not a big deal. Alrighty. So I said also in the video, I don't have any skins favorited because I like using all my skins. Well, ever since Power Cord came back yesterday, uh, it is my only favorited skin because it is my favorite skin of all time in the game. So, if I ever make a top 10 favorite skins list, this would be number one. So, yeah, Power Cord. Great skin. A lot of people hate it. I'm okay with that. I don't care if you hate the skin or not. But, man, just like, I really do like the skin. <laughs> I really do like it. It kind of sucks because my brother is like, he's like share playing like Spider Man. So, my internet connection has been so shit. That I actually haven't really been able to play with the skin yet at all because the connection's just been so bad. So, yeah. I would be getting more gameplay for you guys. I will be doing that tonight when he's actually off. But until then, my, my lag is just awful. So I can't really play. But yeah, Power Cord. Awesome skin. My favorite skin of all time. Just, uh, yeah. And uh, by the way, what I'm going to do is... I did this last time. I'm going to take off the back blings. Just so you see the skin without the back bling, honestly. So we got Power Cord, then we got Battle Hound. Uh, I got this skin when it, I think it came out a second time, I think. Really cool, really like the skin. Really dig it. Carbide, fully upgraded from season uh, four. Dig it, dig it. Chomp Senior, very good skin. Like I said in the previous video. Uh, people were complaining about Jonesy's face kind of being right here, but people don't seem to realize is that you play from this way. So you don't even really see the face. And if anything, the skin is, I think the skin is hilarious. It's it's super troll. I love it. It's a good skin. Cuddle Team Leader. I love Cuddle Team Leader. Good skin. Dark Vanguard. Uh, when I first saw it, I didn't like it. Because I already had Dark Voyager. I'm like, well, what's the point in buying it? Spending $20, $20 on a another skin that doesn't look as gar good as the Dark Voyager. But then I really thought about it. I really looked at it. I'm like, you know what? Purple lights with orange and the black actually kind of matches a little. It's bizarre, but it, it kind of works. So, uh, yeah, Dark Vanguard. It's actually pretty neat. I like it. Dark Voyager. Last thing I ever got from Season 3. Freaking amazing looking skin. I absolutely love this skin. Very, very cool in my opinion. Drift, maxed out. Awesome skin. Awesome starter skin. Really impressed with the uh, skins they had this season for Battle Pass, honestly. Uh, Enforcer, still glitched, but I do enjoy the skin for what it is. It's a free skin for completing seven weeks. I think it's worth it, honestly. Uh, a lot of people don't like the pants. I know I'm not a fan of the pants either. I think the pants look kind of dumb. It's like, hey, I'm, I'm like, look, I'm super tough guy. Oh, wait, I just like wear pants with like knee pads on. Just, just looks kind of weird. And plus the skin is so glitched. It's been like two weeks and they haven't fixed it. Kind of weird, but uh, yeah. So next one is Fate. Uh, this girl does not smile. Uh, really good skin as well. I, I love hoods and I love masks. So if you see any of the skins with hoods or, or masks on it, it's probably because I bought it for that reason only. But I think her skin's actually really cool, and she comes with the uh, ominous orb back bling, which is super dope. So, uh, yeah, Fate. Coming in hot. Havoc from Twitch Prime. I dig it. It's a simple skin. Uh, it was an easy port from uh, Save the World, I believe, and it's clean. Nice and clean. 
Uh, the Heem or the Heim, I don't know how it's pronounced. Uh, super cute. I love this skin. It's very, very, uh, very good. I, I like the Japanese aesthetic it has to it. It just looks really good. And uh, I do like the guy version, but the back bling really did not work for me. I will typically only buy skins, not not all the time, but typically I will only buy skins if I know I can match the back bling with other skins. And her back bling is really cute. It goes well with actually quite a few skins. So yeah, Love Ranger. A lot of people don't like him, but I do. 2000 V-Bucks skin, people only use him for the wings. I think you should use him not only for the wings because I think he actually looks good with the wings too like I think he looks really good I don't know why a lot of people don't use them I think it's a nice looking skin do I think it's a 2000 v box skin if it didn't come with the wings uh yeah maybe maybe it should have been like an epic honestly because it's not super crazy like it's not super legendary but I don't know I still think it's really cool Magnus one of the first skins from season 5 in the item shop really dig it really really dig it and now that I have rock out now I, ha I can have a uh, a heavy metal Viking I guess you could say really neat I like I love like the de the attention to detail they did with this skin it just looks really good not I don't see a lot of people using it kind of surprised by that it's actually pretty cool it's uh, actually pretty cool uh, Omega with all the Omega lights awesome skin this was such a phenomenal skin for season four's ending this was so good and uh yeah it's great it's probably it's actually one of my top five i bet you it's probably like one of my top five favorite skins uh fate this is actually the first skin i believe to come out with a cape really dig it really dig it really cool uh the hood is a little weird it does kind of rest on his forehead a little bit weird i saw someone on reddit uh mention that it doesn't look too great on the hood but whatever i mean i still think it looks fine it looks good in my opinion Panda Team Leader, kind of regret buying it because it's really not much different than the uh, Cuddle Team Leader or the Fireworks Team Leader, but it's still pretty cool. I like back, uh, black and white. I like the bamboo back bling. It actually goes well with some of my skins, so I actually kind of like it. I don't think it's that bad. However, I, do, I don't I do like how they seem to re just recolor this skin and just sell it for another $20. Seems a little rip off -y, honestly but honestly it's <laughs> but honestly but honestly it's whatever man it's not 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 that uh not that big of a deal to me at least uh ragnarok uh skin from season five not as cool as the omega from season five but i am very i still am very pleased with how this skin looks uh right now i'm kind of annoyed with the aim down sights of this skin it's very hard to see past the shoulders i really hope they do fix it but I personally think it's a really good skin. I've actually never used it with all the other styles because I didn't buy tiers to level up. And when I got to tier 100, I was already fat. I was already max Ragnarok anyway. So haven't really used it in his prime state, honestly. So uh, I might have to give that a try. Uh, Ravage, awesome skin. Another one of my top five favorite skins. Uh, Raven was the first skin I ever bought, which is the next skin. Love this design. Love black, love purple. I love the ma I love like the face it has. I love everything about this outfit. It is superb. And plus it comes with fucking dark wings. It's sick. So happy with this skin. This should be worth more than $20. That's all I'm going to say. Uh Raven, first legendary skin I ever bought, like I said. Actually, not only is it the first legendary skin I ever bought, it's the first skin I ever bought, period. Uh not including uh battle pass skins. This uh Actually, I think this this might have been before I bought the Battle Pass. Uh, my brother showed me it when it was, like, leaked. And I, I'm like, oh, this, this skin looks cool. And then at 8 o'clock that day, the Raven skin actually came out. And I'm like, oh, well, all right. I guess I'm going to get back into the Fortnite game. And uh, there you go. So, yeah, Raven, not too shabby. I still like it to this day. The hood's great. The face is, there's not, there isn't a face, but it looks amazing. Purple and black, again, looks really clean red knight i actually really like red knight i know a lot of people don't like red knight anymore because it came back uh a, a few more times actually after it's for uh most recent well no it came back july 5th and ever since then it, it came back a second time after that and uh it might actually just come back again probably this week or next week but honestly if you if you if you take a look at it and you don't care about rarity for one second 
you got a really clean looking skin right here. Red Knight is one of the coolest skins in, in the game, in my opinion. Just black and red are some of my favorite colors. You, you got the menacing eyes. You got you got the armor. You got it's just such a good skin. I really do like it. She she's a great skin. Rose team leader from Save the World. Not a huge fan, honestly. This the, I don't think this should be a legendary skin at all. But I mean, it's a free skin I got for from buying Save the World. So honestly, I can't really complain too much about it. Uh, Sky Stalker. I mentioned this in my top 10 skins that I like that I don't think anyone else does. And a few people told me that they like the Sky Stalker, which is great. I, I, I personally love it. Uh, gas masks are one of my favorite kinds of masks ever. And it looks really good. The green on the gray looks really good. I just, I just dig it. Uh, visitor from Season 4. This is the skin we got from last season for completing 7 weeks. And it's actually really adorable. I actually really like it. However, uh, I did see a picture that uh, someone tweeted out of it, like, looking gold with, like, diamonds on it. And I feel like that would have looked a lot better. But honestly, I'm not going to complain about it too much. I like it the way it is. And, uh, yeah, Visitor. And also, it has uh, styles. I think this is the first skin to ever have uh, edited styles besides bat uh, Battle Pass. So, I, I'm, I'm lying. I'm, like, Carbide and... Uh, Carbide and uh, Omega were the first ones, actually. But yeah, it's just a cute skin. I like it. Valor from Season 4. Not, uh, again, not a huge fan of it. It's okay. It's Battle Pass, but i just not that big of a fan of it. Not much else to say. Uh, War Paint. Uh, I found this kind of funny because someone did point this out to me. His face has, like, the like, it's a skull paint. And... The description says dress for the job you want so it's almost like you're saying you want to be the skull trooper <laughs> which that sounds so lame but honestly it's like yeah it makes sense actually so uh yeah really cool i actually like this skin i like th this is the skin that came with save the world as well this looks a lot better than uh rose team leader however i once again i do think that this should be an epic not a legendary but really does it matter no it doesn't so moving on wild card apparently people thought this skin was gonna be free and uh, I kind of don't blame people for thinking that the skin should have been free because they hyped it up so much. You'd think that like maybe it would be at least an epic, but they uh, they made it a legendary and it's uh, it's good. I love it. I actually really love the skin, the clean outfit. It just looks really good. I don't think I would make it legendary though. I don't know. Looks too simple to be legendary, but once again, it's not that big of a deal that it's legendary to me. Uh, abstract. Another skin I really like that a lot of people seem to just not really care for. Uh, I like it. The ga the mask he has on is cool. The hat isn't that great. I don't. I actually kind of don't like the hat. It looks kind of douchey to me. But I still think it looks cool. I'm not really too uh, opposed to the skin at all. And plus the back bling matches technique. So if you really wanted to, you could just use it for the back bling. I think it's a good skin. Bandolier. I think it's good skin. I think it's good skin. Most of the skins I have, I actually really do like, and I don't buy it for rarity's sake, because a lot of people seem to think that I only buy skins for rarity, which is kind of dumb. I don't know why people will do that, but whatever. I like the skin. This looks really cool. There is no, there wasn't a back bling that came with this guy, but I don't really think he needed one. I don't, I don't know. I think it looks really cool. Uh, Battlehawk from season four. It's whatever. Not nothing too crazy to home write home about. Uh, Beef boss awesome skin we should be seeing this skin back in probably uh this week honestly we'll probably see beef boss come back uh really creative skin i know this was on reddit and i know a lot of people wanted it it's a really cute skin i really really like it it's once again it's a really troll skin and it's cool uh bunny brawler the bunny skins came back so of course i had to pick them both up because i do really like the uh bunny skins a lot uh they're really creative. I mean, like, look, look, bunny slippers. You got a bunny outfit on. It just looks cool. I don't know. I, I just think it's a really neat looking skin. Burnout is one of, again, is one of my top five favorite skins. And I might be alone on that one. I don't think a lot of people like Burnout. But personally, me with the black and red again, you know, you got that, you got the helmet on. Can't see his face. It just looks really cool and badass. I love this skin. It's just really cool, in my opinion. Uh, Far Out Man, I know a lot of people don't like this skin either, but I do because it is just a really, I think it's a really creative skin. I don't like Dream Flower. I don't, I, I, I don't think that skin looked that great, honestly. Uh, Dream Flower, I really don't. If they picked a different character model, maybe it would have looked better, but like with this one, this looks a lot better. So, 
Yeah, I actually really dig it. Fireworks team leader. Uh, this was probably my rarer skin. Just kidding. But uh, I did have this when um, Fourth of July hit. But uh, it came back surprisingly uh, a day or two ago. No, it came out yesterday. It came back yesterday. No. Yes, two days ago. Yeah, whatever. It, it came back recently is what I'm trying to say. And uh, yeah, so it kind of lost its rarity. It's epic for a reason. People aren't going to buy a Panda Team Leader that's blue, black, uh, red, white, and blue for 2000. They knew that. They're like, you know what? Let's just make it uh, epic. So that's what I think that's what they did. But uh, I think it's cool. I think it's cool. Uh, Funk Ops. Really like this skin a lot. It's it's one of the flashiest looking skins, honestly. It's just, I don't know. I love it really dig it i did buy the disco brawl and then i actually refunded it i didn't like it honestly i thought it was too bulky but the skin itself is cool i really dig it uh galaxy yeah i actually did get the galaxy skin i i bought a new phone just so i could no i'm just kidding i didn't get it just because of the galaxy skin i bought it because i needed it for work and i it, my job requires a lot of time on the phone so i needed a phone with a good battery and i was due for an upgrade i'm like you know what i might as well just go all out and buy a really nice looking phone and the phone's sick by the way the note 9 is insanely cool so very happy with it and i'm glad i got the skin too it is very bizarre but it's once again i think it's pretty troll and uh yeah so there we go uh gumshoe i think she's cute she kind of reminds me of um Mary Jane from Spider-Man for some reason. I don't know why. I think it's just because the ginger hair and the glasses and the nerd look, I guess. But uh, she's super cool. I really like her. I got her when uh, the skins first came out. Uh, Huntress from Season 5. A lot of people don't seem to use the skin. I can understand why. It was Level 1 Battle Pass Season 5. So it's like, uh, you know, you, you're probably using like the newest skins. You got like the Sledgehammer or the RPM or whatever. Or the Red Line, I'm sorry. But uh, it's whatever. I think the skin's actually really cute and I like it. Uh, Maverick. The back bling for him is insanely cool. It's a bat with a backpack. It's super cool. Love it. Uh, love the Cobra out outfit too. Like the Cobra on the front and the Cobra on the back. Orange and black match really well. He's got good jeans on. It looks really clean. I actually really like this skin. Uh, Mission Specialist, not a fan. Moonwalker, once again, not a fan. I like Moonwalker than I like Mission Specialist, I think. Because I think the... The, uh, I don't know. I just, just something about the skin does not sit right with me. I don't know what it is, but it's just not super crazy to me, I guess. Uh, New wear. Uh, I like the skin. I dig it. I like. I don't like it as much as I like the sleuth skin, but it's still really like mysterious and cool. I really dig it. Overtaker. Again, this and uh, burnout are the are the exact same reasons why I like the skin. It's the exact same thing. Except it's black and white, and I love black and white. So if I was to make a top 10 favorite skins list, this and Burnout would actually take the same number because they are both uh, phenomenal skins. Rabbit Raider, basically the same things I said about Bunny Brawler. Really cool skin. Got it because it came back. Might as well buy them. And uh, yeah, they're really cool. Like them. Rapscallion, very, very cool epic skin, honestly. It's really... It's really not that underrated anymore. I thought when it first came out it was, but then a lot of people started buying it. And uh, I think it's a really cool skin. I love beanies. I like I like characters that have beanies on their head and stuff like that. And it's just really, really clean. And the back bling's cool too. Redline Season 5 Battle Pass. It's pretty cool. I won't lie. It's actually pretty neat. It's, it's not as good as Burnout, don't get me wrong. But it's still cool that Burnout actually got like a girl counterpart. That's actually really cool. So yeah. Red line's not too bad. Rogue Agent from Starter Pack episode, or <laughs> episode. Rogue Agent from uh, Starter Pack, uh, the first one. Really cool. I think this one's actually really underrated. Because, you know, you got the blue camo pants. You got a really cool looking Halo helmet. Like, look at the colors on that. You see that? It looks really cool. Really like it. Rook from Season 5. Really cute. And really cool, too. I wish uh, people would run this skin more often. I think they are now, but like, I do think she's a really good skin. This is also Aiden's skin, which is pretty funny. Uh, Rust Lord from Season 3. I really like it. Not much else to say about it. The colors match mesh well. Shade from the same set as the Maverick. Uh, she's cool. I like her a lot. Uh, a lot of people thought this was going to replace Power Cord. 
and uh, it did not. But it's pretty funny that we all thought that, because uh, I'm not the only one that thought that, honestly. Uh, Shadow Ops, aka, you know, Power Chord version 2.0, I guess, but in all black and red. Really cool. I love Shadow Ops. This is actually the first skin I bought that was an epic. And I was always really hesitant on buying it because it didn't have a back bling, but same with Burnout. And it was just like, well, I don't know. Do I do I really think it's worth it? And yeah, it's actually worth it. It's a really good skin. Sledgehammer from Season 5. Great skin. Great skin. Matches really well. Meshes really well. It's a good skin. Uh, Sleuth. Very cool skin. Reminds me of a guy from Team Fortress 2. Really cool skin. Really, really dig it. Honestly. The, the, the face model is really good too, by the way. Okay. Squad Leader from Season 4. Again, pretty underrated in my opinion. Don't see anyone using it, and I think it deserves a lot more uh, love than people give it credit for, honestly. Really cool. Love the tribal tattoo. Kind of looks like the Rocks tattoo, if you think about it. And uh, it just looks really good. I really dig it. Sub Commander, don't like it. Do not like this skin. The purple and black is cool, but I just, I, I don't know. I don't really like it. Just not, not my thing. Sunstrider from Season 5. It's okay. It's not as cool as the Technique skin from Season 4, because I think that's what they were going for. And speaking of Technique, Technique from Season 4. Really good skin. Really, really good skin. I know a lot of people like this skin, and uh, for good reason. She's got a hoodie on. Got a hat on, looks really cool. Got the mask on too. It's not on her face, but it's still there and it's really cool. Really cool skin. The Ace from Starter Pack, the third one actually. And uh, it's cool. I, I like it. It's, uh, I've said this before and I'll say it again. If you plan on spending V-Bucks in this game, buy the Starter Pack. You get a free skin and 600 V-Bucks out of it. So it's it, you're basically getting the skin for free. You might as well just get it. Uh, Tomato Head and I have both the styles. I like him. Tomato Head, he's a... Uh, he's a good man. He's a good man. Super Troll. Toxic Trooper, also pretty troll. Uh, really like it. Again, I don't think a lot of people like it. And also, I don't like how they put him in the daily shop. Like, it just seems kind of... It seems kind of, like, weird. Like, I feel like they put skins that, like, people kind of like but don't like at all. I feel like they just put those in the daily shop. Like, the Monkier skin's been in the Daily Shop a few times, and it's just like, I guess they don't, I guess people didn't really care about the new, those sets. And I, I understand it, but it's just like, man, just come on, be a little nicer to them. Trailblazer, pretty neat. From uh, Twitch, not too bad. Whiteout, she had no neck, now she does. It's a beautiful story. Wingman, from Star Pack 2, pretty cool. Once again, it's uh, 600 V-Bucks. And you get a skin for free if you just spend $6. So, yeah, I would uh, recommend you get it. It's a good skin. Uh, Rec Raider. Uh, don't see a lot of people using this skin at all. But I really like it, especially because the back bling matches with a lot of different skins I have. And, uh, yeah, pretty cool. Zoe from Season 4. Good skin. It's a really cute skin. I really like it. And I uh, don't know why people hate on it so much. It's really cute. I, I, don't, I don't get it. Uh, Chopper from, uh, this season's item shop. Actually, really cool. It's pretty neat. Not much else to say about it. Dynamo, same thing. Don't have much to say about it, but I do think it looks really cool. Uh, Finesse Finisher, my only soccer skin. I'll probably buy more soccer skins when they, uh, eventually bring them out. I think this face model is adorable. And it just looks really cool. And the fact that you can customize them is super sick. So, yeah, those are cool. Jump Shot, awesome skin. Really want Triple Thought to come back. But, yeah, Jump Shot, super cool. Really like the skin. Look, It's just a really cool skin, honestly. Midnight Ops. Same thing as Shadow Ops. Pretty cool. Love red and black. Um, the hair is kind of eh. I won't lie, but I, I still like it. I still dig the skin. Looks really cool. Uh, Monkier, this is the first skin I bought from the Season 5 season. And uh, I like it. I like it a lot. It is a uh, very simple, nice hoodie. You know, he's got pants sagging, but like the hoodie looks super sick. Like, I don't know. It's just cool. Uh, Munitions Expert, awesome skin. Goes really well with a few back blings I have, and it's just a really neat looking skin. Recon Scout. This skin was actually pretty rare until today because uh, 
they uh, they had the grill sergeant skin, which I have, and then they realized the skin was glitched, so they actually took it out of the shop and replaced it with this guy. This guy actually hasn't been in the shop since April 24th or something like that. Like, he has not been in the shop for quite some time. And I was actually going to put him on my top 10 rare skin list before uh, I did the research on everything. And uh, since Power Cord came back, well, now this skin came back too. This honestly would have probably made one of the, one of those spots, honestly. It's a really clean skin, and I really dig it. It's just pretty fucking cool, so yeah. Uh, Snorkel Ops. Don't really use her that much, but I like the color skin that's going on. Survival Specialist. Black and white skulls. Black and white camo. Perfect match, honestly. Sushi Master. I love it. It's a good skin. Back bling is kind of am, but I like it. Armadillo. First green skin I ever owned. Really clean. Same with uh, Scorpion. Second green second green skin I owned. They're, I bought them both at the same time, so I guess you could say I bought them both. So those these are my two first uh, green skins, and they are very good. And then finally, we got the Grill Sergeant. That shouldn't even be... I shouldn't even have it right now. People were getting refunded the skin because uh, it was glitched, like I said. But I bought it, and because, like I said, my brother's been hogging up all the internet, I haven't really had time to play an actual game without lagging. So I actually haven't used this skin yet in-game because I feel like if I did that, I would lose it. So, yeah, pretty, pretty neat, I guess. Back blings, six string, of course, has got to be the uh, favorited one. But uh, back blings are all the same thing as all my other skins, so it's really not much of a difference, honestly. The only difference here being is uh, uh, birthday cake and rust bucket, but that's about it. Uh, so then we get to with the axes. Bite Mark, Chomp Jr., Death Valley, love Death Valley. Onslaught, Oracle Axe is cool. Uh, Party Animal's cool, Permafrost is cool, Rainbow Smash is cool, Renegade Roller is really cool, Rift is neat, Trusty number two, Anarchy Axe is dope. The Anarchy Axe is so cool. It's amazing. It sounds like a guitar. It's awesome. Balloon Axe, Batsicle sick. I love the Batsicle. Hopefully they bring back the scythe. Clutch Axe, Crimson Axe, Crowbar from the uh, the new getaway challenges right now. Empire Axe, Faded Frame, Filet Axe, Forebear, Iron Beak is cool. Night Owl's cool. Plunge Up, Positron, Propeller Axe, Spectral Axe, Studded Axe, Edgy. Edgy. Patty Wagger and then EVA, Gale Force, all these ones that I don't really care too much about because I uh, just don't like them. And then we got the Gliders. Uh, we have uh, Cyclone, Rusty Rider, Slipstream, White Squall, Feathered Flyer, Rainbow Rider, Stage Dive, love Stage Dive, Carbon, Beach Umbrellas, uh, the Norse Glider, I believe it's called, uh, oh no, Conquest, I'm sorry, uh, uh, Intrepid, Splashdown, Wings of Valor, Sugar Crash, Cruiser, Downshift, Warthog, and then Founder's Glider, and then Regular Glider. And then contrails are all whatever. You know. Oh yeah, I do have a getaway. Because, uh, yeah, cash flow. Do have that as well. And then here are my loading screens. Not that I think this really matters too much to some people. I really don't. Yeah, I really don't think this matters too much. And then all my emotes. So really quickly, I'm going to. I'm going to do that. And then I'm just going to scroll through them all. So you can take a look for yourself on what emotes I actually own, which I do think I own a lot. I do like using emotes in game and I do like using them for like machinima projects. So expect to see that. And uh, yeah, and that besides that guys, that is it. That is my locker showcase. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like, I will not beg for it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Turn on the bell so you get all of my latest uploads. Comment down below what are your favorite skins, honestly, in my locker. I want to know what you guys liked in my locker tour, honestly. I want to know what, uh, if you guys have, like, the same stuff that I do. Just comment down below whatever you want to talk about. I don't care. So, join the Discord. Follow me on Twitter at iTalkFortnite, which, by the way, we just hit over a 1,000 followers on uh, Twitter. Thank you guys so much. Have a good one, and I will see you later. Peace.
Number 15, Burger King foot lettuce. The last thing you want in your burger. King burger is someone's foot fuck. Yes. But as it turns out, that might be what you get. Yeah.